everyone! Welcome back to the Homeschool Sweet Spot. If you're new here, I'm Kylie, and I've been homeschooling my three kids since 2007. So thanks for stopping by the channel. Today, I wanted to take you on a bit of a walk through a couple of comparative science workbooks. So these are both year two science workbooks. One is put out by ROC Publications and the other is Teachers for Teachers. So I just wanted to show you inside, have a little bit of a comparative look at them and see the differences and similarities between these two year two science workbooks. All right, so let's have a look inside. So when we open them up, the first thing that you'll notice about this particular one is that it's full colour. Whereas this one is all black and white. The other difference that really easily um, stands out to us is the amount of information that's in this one. This is a busier, seems to be a more information rich workbook. Whereas this one is generally simpler to look at. Okay, so let's dig in a little bit more. So each of the grade two science books break down the four main branches of science. We've got the biological sciences, the chemical sciences, earth and space and physical sciences. Okay, so we have the table of contents. I'll try and have them both showing. So here we've got biological science or the living world first up and you have the same thing here in this particular workbook. And the very first lesson, what are living things and what are living things? Let's take a look at that lesson in both of the books so that we can see the differences and the similarities between those lessons. First thing that stands out to me is that the RIC workbook has a teacher preparation page. So this particular page explains everything that's going on, gives you background information and also gives you all the answers and it will also tell you any hands-on or additional activities that might go along with this particular lesson. Then we're jumping over to the other one and it doesn't appear to be a teacher preparation page. This is something that you would sit and read with the student or if you have a grade two child that's reading really well, then of course they can read that themselves. And then you move across and do the worksheet style activity. So it's just one page for unit one, what are living things? And then it moves straight into the second unit. And this one, it tells us to read the text. It has a brief bit of information, some colouring if the, if the student wants to colour. And it has a second follow-up page to the what are living things. So a few little activities that the child can do. So they are the similarities and differences between two lessons. The other thing that I wanted to point out in this particular one is it has some extensive teacher's notes. It explains what each page is getting at what the relevant activities are and what you can what will be actually covered covers all of the different skills overview for you it has a photocopyable report format and experiment format if those things are important to you is this book does not have those and then it gets into the lessons and each lesson is pretty much the same. It has the teacher guide and then the actual text for the child to read or to be read with an adult and then the hand and then the worksheet component. Sorry. Whereas this one, as I said before, doesn't actually have a teacher guide as such. It's really self guided. So you read the information, do the worksheet. It is nice and colourful, so that may be a draw card. The one thing that the back of this book has is the Australian Curriculum Alignment Grid. So it actually gives you the outcome codes and what units are covering or working towards those particular outcome codes. So if that's important to you, this is actually really handy. Whereas 
I'm not able to find that information in this book. It is all curriculum aligned and it does give a brief account up here in the top left hand corner of the teachers page but it doesn't actually give us the Australian curriculum codes that each lesson is relating to. So whether that's important to you only you can answer that question. Um, but this is the major differences between the two. Of course this one being full colour my personal preference is that yes it's full colour but it doesn't seem to be as thorough as the RIC Publications workbook. This one has a small number of hands-on activity suggestions where I feel that the RIC publication offers a little bit more for the teacher to build on these lessons as you work through them. It gives you preparation for hands-on activities you're going to need. Um, it covers some extra uh, activities if they are applicable here in this particular one. Tells you things as a teacher that you may want to look out for or that you need to check. And those are the bits that you don't have inside this particular one. This one, yes, it's lovely and colourful. It's easy to open up and just start using. I personally feel that this one is a little more thorough and a little more in-depth. So that will be personal preference depending on you, your child and what it is that you're wanting to achieve out of your grade two science. So that is Science Now Grade Two, Australian Curriculum Aligned, put out by Teachers for Teachers. And then we have the RIC Publications Year Two Australian Curriculum Science.